क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटीन द इक्वेशन शोज द इक्विलिब्रियम बिटवीन डाई नाइट्रोजन टेट्रा ऑक्साइड एंड नाइट्रोजन डाई ऑक्साइड द कलर ऑफ रिएक्टेंट्स एंड प्रोडक्ट्स आर ऑल्सो शोन द फॉरवर्ड रिएक्शन इज एंडोथर्मिक विच स्टेटमेंट इज नॉट करेक्ट ऑप्शन ए एट इक्विलिब्रियम द कंसनट्रेशन ऑफ रिएक्टेंट्स एंड प्रोडक्ट्स आर कॉन्स्टेंट इट इज करेक्ट At equilibrium, the rate of forward reaction is equal to the rate of reverse reaction. Correct. When the pressure is increased, a darker brown color is seen. To check the pressure effect, we have to check first the number of moles on both sides. So we will check the molar ratio. In equation, we can see that there are one moles of di nitrogen tetraoxide and two moles of nitrogen dioxide. it means there are fewer moles on left side when the pressure is increased the reaction goes toward the less moles fewer moles this statement say that when the pressure is increased a darker, darker brown color is seen this is not correct when the temperature is increased a darker brown color is seen when the temperature is increased how does does it affect the equilibrium it leads to the endothermic side and we know that the reaction is endothermic as told here in the question it means right side is endothermic so if you increase temperature a darker brown color is seen this is true so the correct answer is option c Question number seventeen: The equations for two reactions of iodide ions are shown. Reaction one and reaction two. Which statement is correct? A. Both reactions are redox reaction. B. Neither reaction is a redox reaction. C. Only reaction one is a redox reaction. D. Only reaction two is a redox reaction. Let us see the correct answer. In reaction one, we can see that iodide ions are changing to iodine in aqueous solution and here is change in oxidation state from negative 2 to 0 that shows oxidation has happened and h2o2 is also showing reduction in its oxidation state What about reaction two? In reaction two, iodide ions are joining with silver ions and making silver iodide that is insoluble product, or it is a precipitate. It is not a redox reaction. So option C will be the correct answer. Only reaction one is a redox reaction. Question eighteen. The graph shows how the pH of solution changes as an acid is added to an alkali. It is a neutralization reaction. Acid plus alkali makes salt and water. Which latter represents the area of the graph where both acid and salts are present? Here you can see it starts from pH fourteen, and it is going towards neutralization. And they are asking where both acids and salt are present. As you know. the ph of acid is close to the zero okay so this is the point where both acids and salt are present so correct option is option d because you can see ph is starting from 14 and going towards the lower side question 19 which statement describes a weak acid to understand weak acid first of all listen the definition of weak acid weak acid is the one that is partially ionized in the aqueous solution and acid the definition of acid is also it is a proton donor mean it releases protons in the aqueous solution and what is proton h positive so you have to search for correct answer that is telling you it is partially ionized and proton donor it means the correct answer is option d it is a proton donor and is partially ionized in aqueous solution 
क्वेश्चन ट्वेंटी वन लेटू सल्फेट इज एन इंसॉल्यूबल सॉल्ट विच मैथड इज सुटेबल फॉर ऑप्टेनिंग सॉलिड लेट टू सल्फेट द सॉल्ट इज शोइंग दैट इट इज इंसॉल्यूबल सॉल्ट और प्रेसिपिटेट इट मीन्स दैट इट इज नॉट अ क्रिस्टल द मैथड इज नंबर वन टू एक्व सोल्यूशन ऑफ सोल्यूबल सॉफ्ट सब्सटांसेज आर मिक्सड इन अ बीकर The mixture is filtered to get the precipitate. The filtered precipitate is rinsed with distilled water. The insoluble salt placed in a crucible is dried in an oven. Let us see the correct options. Option A. Mix aqueous lead to nitrate and aqueous potassium sulfate. Heat to evaporate. evaporation is not needed here because it is not a soluble salt so this is not a correct option option b mix aqueous lead to nitrate and aqueous potassium sulfate filter collect the filtrate crystallize then wash and dry the crystals here we don't need to collect the filtrate because we want only the precipitate so it's not a correct option option c mix aqueous lead to nitrate and dilute sulfuric acid filter then wash and dry the residue this might be the correct option because we need the residue that is the precipitate option d titrate aqueous lead to hydroxide with dilute sulfuric acid crystallize then wash and dry the crystals we don't need the crystals here so it is not a correct option so correct option is option c question 22 group a group 1 metal lithium sodium or potassium is reacted with group 7 element chlorine bromine or iodine which compound is formed when group 1 metal of highest density react with group 7 element of lowest density we have to check the density trend in group 1 and group 7 group 1 highest density group 7 lowest density both group 1 and group 7 show increase in density down the group So potassium here is from group one metal with highest density, and chlorine is from group seven with lowest density. So potassium chloride is the correct answer. Question twenty three: The properties of element titanium can be predicted from its position in the periodic table. Which row identifies the property of titanium? Titanium is present in transition metals. so we will check the properties first can be used as catalyst yes can conduct electricity when solid yes has low density no transition metals do not have low density they form colored compounds yes so we will choose the related answer that is shown by option b question 24 a balloon is filled with helium helium is a noble gas and makes the balloon rise up in the air density of air is 1.23 g per cubic decimeters which gas is helium you have to choose helium gas as unreactive and less in density than air so you can easily go for the correct option less than air and does not react with oxygen so correct option goes option b question 25 which property is shown by all metals keep in mind whenever they ask all metals so all metals show good electrical conductivity okay so best option will go they conduct electricity question number 26 sodium nitrate is a white crystalline solid that decompose on heating this is sodium nitrate and this is being heated which row describes the decomposition products formed when sodium nitrate is heated strongly if a metal is reactive if a metal is reactive like sodium it means their compounds are not easily decomposed so they always make nitrites and oxygen so correct answer will be option b sodium nitrate will be decomposed into sodium nitrite and oxygen
Question 27. Molten iron from the blast furnace contains impurities. The process of turning the impure iron into steel involves blowing oxygen into the molten iron and adding calcium oxide. What are the reasons for blowing in oxygen and adding calcium oxide? Calcium oxide is added to react with acidic impurity and it makes slag and oxygen is added to remove carbon. So correct answer goes option A. Carbon is removed by reacting with oxygen and it reacts with acidic impurities making slag. Question number 28. Element Y react with copper oxide to form copper. Element Y will not react with zinc oxide. Copper has no reaction with zinc oxide. What is the order of reactivity of these three elements? First, most reactive. It means copper has no reaction. Mean copper will be put at end because it is the least reactive one. Then you see element Y can react with copper oxide but it does not react with zinc oxide. It means zinc will be the first one and then element Y because this element Y cannot react here, cannot react with zinc oxide but it can react with copper oxide to form copper. So reactivity goes from zinc to Y to copper. So correct answer is option D. Question number 29. Which statement shows that a liquid is a pure water? It boils at 100 degrees Celsius. Correct. It has a pH value of 7. This does not tell us about the purity of water. It turns blue cobalt chloride pink. It's a test of water, but it does not tell us about the purity of water. It turns copper sulfate blue, white copper sulfate to blue. It is also a test of water. So the correct answer is option A. Question 30. Which process removes carbon dioxide from the atmosphere? The process is photosynthesis. Question 31. Ammonia is manufactured by Haber process. What are the conditions used in the Haber process? The correct conditions are 400 temperature and 300 atmospheres pressure. So correct option is option B. Question 32. Coating iron helps to prevent rusting. Which coating will continue to protect the iron even when the coating is damaged? Option A, copper. Option B, paint. Option C, plastic. Option D, zinc. Zinc is more reactive than iron and it, it readily loses electron as compared to iron. So it will do the sacrificial protection. That's why the best option is option D. Question 33. A student suggests three uses of calcium carbonate limestone. Manufacture of cement, manufacture of iron, treating alkaline soils. Which suggestions are correct? Manufacture of cement, yes. Manufacture of iron, yes. Alkaline soils. For alkaline soils treatment, calcium oxide or calcium hydroxide are used that are alkaline in nature and calcium carbonate is a salt. So, Option A is the correct option. Question 34. The contact process is used to manufacture concentrated sulfuric acid and consists of four steps. Which step involves a catalyst? As we have studied before that, sulfur dioxide when it reacts with oxygen, it produces sulfur trioxide. This step needs catalyst. So, Correct option is option B, production of sulfur trioxide. Question 35, which row about production of ethanol by fermentation is correct? 
raw materials energy requirement rate of reaction raw materials are yeast and they are renewable energy requirement is very low and rate of reaction is very slow so correct option will be b renewable low and slow question 36 which statement about homologous series is correct members of homologous series have same structural formula no they do not have same structural formula number b members of homologous series all have similar chemical properties yes they have sim similar chemical properties number c members of homologous series all have similar physical properties no they show a trend in physical properties they are not having exactly same physical properties number d members of all homologous series are hydrocarbons no it is not necessary they are all hydrocarbons it is wrong so correct option is option b question 37 increasing the number of atoms in one molecule of hydrocarbon increases the amount of energy released when it burns what is the correct order here ethene ethane and methane you have to choose the order in which the number of atoms are increasing ethene is c2h4 ethane is c2h6 methane is ch4 so in which order the number of atoms are increasing the correct option is methane then ethene then ethane so correct option is option d question 38 some properties of organic compound j are listed it is liquid at room temperature soluble in water a solution of j reacts with calcium carbonate and make carbon dioxide and a solution of j has ph3 it's a property of acid it's also property of acid so let us see the correct options alkane it's not an alkane alkene alcohol correct option is carboxylic acid question 39 from organic chemistry ethane c2h6 reacts with chlorine in substitution reaction what are the products of this reaction we will see the equation c2h6 plus cl2 this one of the chlorine one of the chlorine atom will displace hydrogen and take its place so it will become c2h5 cl plus hcl so correct option will be chloroethane and hydrogen chloride question 40 which polymers are or types of polymers are synthetic carbohydrates are natural polymers nylon is synthetic protein are natural terylene are synthetic so option 2 and 4 option d 